Welcome to Cook It, your new favorite cooking show. And today, we're making chicken garage. Well, let's get started. What you'll need is two tablespoons soy sauce, one tablespoon marin or white wine with a teaspoon of sugar, four teaspoons sugar, and grated ginger or garlic, or toss that and add two tablespoons of the ready-made stuff. Now we add all the ingredients to a bowl and whisk until thoroughly mixed. This will give an even distribution when coating our chicken. Now add 450 grams chicken pieces and mix until each piece is well coated. Chicken karage or Japanese fried chicken is special because you coat it in potato starch which gives it a special crispness. Karage literally means tang fried, as in the Chinese dynasty. And I gotta say, the Asians got it right here. Now it's time to chill it, so cover it up with cling film and set it in the fridge for an hour. Now that the chicken is chilled, we're going to add one third cup of potato flour and mix until all pieces are coated evenly. You can use regular flour, but that's compromising the crunch, and that's what it's all about. I mean, if you want to go all out, do that. Live it up. Ask your crush out to the moon. Okay, now that we're done mixing, it's off to a pan of vegetable oil on a medium heat for five to seven minutes. The beauty of this chicken is its crunch, and that comes from frying it twice. First at a lower temperature, and then at a higher temperature. I'm no food scientist, just a guy who loves food and educated people. All I know is, it makes it crispier and deliciouser. Yes, that's the word now. What are you gonna do about it? Report me to the grammar police? <laughs> Joke's on you, they don't exist. Okay, we're going to take out these bad boys and let them cool on a wire rack now. You can see that there's a significant change in color, but we want it even further. Not as dark as my soul, but a good dark brown, like James Brown. He was a great dark brown. That's a terrible dad joke. But don't worry, bad jokes will not affect the taste of this chicken. It may even enhance the flavor. Now we turn up the heat to high and add the chicken back to the heated oil. You can already see a significant bubbling and that's a good sign. It means the oil is hot enough. This is for the outer layer so you want them in for not too long. Just long enough to reach the desired James Brown. And clearly that joke has run its course, much like the chicken will have in about 2-3 to three minutes. And there we have it, our Japanese fried chicken, or chicken karaage. Nice time to dish up and have my guinea pig up guest to taste. You can serve this with mashed potatoes, rice, or have them just by yourself. It won't change the fact that this will probably be the best gosh darn fried chicken you've ever tasted. And here we have our guest taster, Bronwyn, to partake in this heavenly chicken. And as you can see, she's given it a nod of approval. 